16th century. A small island in the Indian Ocean, Mauritius is entirely cut off from the rest of the planet. A lost world where a menagerie of fascinating creatures has been allowed to evolve, free from competition with mammalian predators. Chief among these is the Dodo, a large flightless bird. Larger than a turkey, weighing up to 23 kilograms, this fruit-eating bird has a large hooked bill, undeveloped wings, and short, thick, yellow legs. In addition to fruit, this bird may also have eaten fish, as well as another, less popular menu item. Rocks. These likely aid digestion. The dodo lays a single large egg in a ground nest made of grass. The eggs hatch in the autumn, and young dodos reach adulthood within 10 to 12 months. In addition to the dodo, the island of Mauritius is host to a wide variety of birds and reptiles, including the red rail, greater flamingo and broad-billed parrot, as well as a species of giant skink and two different species of giant tortoise. But it was not to last. The dodo was first reported in 1598 by Dutch colonizers, who characterized it as sluggish and unafraid of humans. Having lived as the largest creature in an island environment without predators, the dodo didn't recognize humans as a threat. This soon changed as humans as well as animals such as pigs, cats, rats, and monkeys imported to Mauritius by settlers, became significant dangers to these flightless creatures, destroying many of the dodo nests, eggs, and young. By the late 1600s, less than a century after its discovery, the dodo bird was extinct. However, as modern science moves forward day by day, new discoveries make possible what could only have been dreamt of in the recent past. Genetic technology moves forward with new breakthroughs every year, and many exciting new techniques have opened up, both to the future and the past. Just last week, an amateur paleontologist on the island of Mauritius uncovered a fossil so extraordinary it must be seen to be believed. Combining this astonishing discovery with next-generation gene sequencing and DNA extraction technology and cutting-edge genome editing procedures, it may now be possible to bring them back. And that's where we come in. Here on an island research facility of undisclosed location, I have been tasked to bring back the dodo. Uh, so the, uh, the sub-fossil material has been provided, but it will be our job uh, to assemble the remains uh, in order to extract the DNA and then create a living, breathing dodo. Uh, so first, we'll need a proper research facility. This area is very clearly 
already designed. So let's, uh, <clears throat> let's yes. Ah, yes. Extinct research lab. Yep, and uh, so we're gonna take off this one. Extinct research lab. So here we have the fossil material, and uh, now we're going to assemble it. How do I uh, rotate? Ah, uh, rotate it. Yeah. We're discovering more fossils. But these are the ones that were, uh... By completing this puzzle, you can create the dodo at the extinct research lab. Alright, so we have extracted the DNA. So we are ready for the greatest, most important step. Uh, but first, actually, let's, let's take a look at this zoo. Um, I mean, it's a small little zoo, but, um, you know, this is where our, our dodo is going to be kept. Um, so we've got, got some flamingos. Here we've got a paleontologist. He's the one who's finding the, uh, fossils. Uh, we've got some penguins and peafowl. Yep. So clearly it's a very bird-centric zoo got some guests arriving. Here's a little guest area. Oh, there's some rainforest over here. Yep. And, uh, yeah, there don't appear to be any donation boxes. And we are running a little low on money because this cost us $8,000 to construct. Uh, and I wasn't paying attention to that. It also has an upkeep of one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. So if we don't, uh, if we aren't making some money, then we're gonna be unhappy. Uh, yeah, this extinct research lab is an expensive building. So we're going to get some donation boxes. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. I'll put one like here. Yep, and another one just right here, and that can function for both the penguins and the flamingos. Oh, hello, zookeeper. Yeah, no, that's not what I want. Yep, I like the flamingos. They're very nice. I mean, I like the penguins and the peafowl too, of course. Penguins, they've got a nice little, uh... Oh need to clean the water. I could get a water filter, but that will also be expensive, and it's not too difficult to just do a bed every now and then. There are my penguins. Hey, little penguin. What's up? Alright, but we have this dodo statue, but we need to uh, build the, the, the dodo uh, habitat. So, I mean, we could... We've got this whole rainforesty area over here. Which, you know, would be very cool to just let our dodo... Oh, it's very uneven for some reason. Um, we could let our, our dodos just kind of run free. I mean, I guess we are eventually planning to release these dodo... Oh, and then over here... We've got, um... I got... Well, you can't really see it. Hang on, let's... Ooh, there's a fossil site. No, look. Let's, uh, let's go, uh, right there. Yeah. There's the ocean. I mean, it looks, it looks okay, you know. Uh, anyway. Oh. Yep, there we are. There's some more water over here. But we are not interested in that. Um, so, yeah, so I think that to begin with, I mean, we're going to be bringing the dodo back to life. I think at first we need to have it in a very, um, monitorable area. The question is, where is that? So we're going to want a fence. 
And I think we can stick with this low chain link fence. Um, I mean, dodos aren't particularly large carnivorous animals. You know, we could honestly just... No. Uh, I mean, we could put something here, but... I mean, we could just fence off, like, this area. Do we have access to elevated path yet? Hmm, I could put, like, an elevated path going up and then over this weird hill thing, and then, like, so guests could... Hmm, that might be very cool. On the other hand, that might be pretty expensive and a little bit difficult to achieve. We'll 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 uh, we'll, we'll put a pin in that. Put a pin in that. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll put a pin put a pin in that. Um, for now, I mean, just right here, honestly. So these exhibits are all exactly the same size. Yeah, they've got. Three by three by three by three by three. Okay, so yeah, so that's not gonna fit. Here, I'll just go to octagonal mode. Of course, octagonal mode is not the easiest mode. Oh look, all of my guests are happy. That is excellent news. All right, so I don't think you know we'll we'll just actually we'll we'll, we'll convert this area into a dodo you know, kind of area. So if I maybe go up, yeah, I can go up to three, and then two, yeah, three, and then maybe like that. Yeah, that should be good, and then something like this. Yep, yeah, that should be good. Um, and then I'll put a staff gate just right here. Presumably this donation box will also function, and then I'll add just a little bit more rainforest area. Yeah. Because the dodo, of course, is native to the rainforest area of uh, Mauritius. And then for rainforest trees, we have this King Saga. And the tree fern. I mean, I don't know if that's really natural, but it doesn't matter. Um, and none of these are rainforest trees. Savannah grassland, 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 desert, tundra, tundra. What is this? Pelagic? Reef. Real forest and reef again. Yeah. I mean, these are obviously not. You know, gonna... And then rocks. So we could give them some boreal forest rocks. I mean, they look fine. Uh, but no, I think that that'll uh, that'll be fine. So now it's time to uh, create extinct animals. All right, let's go. There we go, dodo. Yep. What? Why isn't it? Oh, rats! I am using the wrong keys. <gasps> Doesn't matter. We did it. Well done. You created Dodo 1. It's alive. It's so cute. Alright. We also got a new star. Dodo 1. it. We've, uh, we've done it. This is our Frankenstein moment. Now, uh, we've got to name this little guy. Hey. And I think there's only one appropriate name for Raphis Cookieolatus, our dodo bird, shall be named Ralph. Ralph the dodo bird. Oh, I suppose you need something to eat. Yep. So we'll give you a food dish with water. And bananas. And 
berries. Research is complete. Extinct research lab is ready for extinct animal creating. And we could create another one. Give Ralph a little friend. Uh, yeah, we could get two little dodos. Maybe even a breeding pair. Alright, let's go. Ooh, well found. Losing money. Alright, here we go. This time I know which keys to press. Created Super Dodo 2. Super animals are larger, healthier, and longer living than regular animals. Excellent. See, you improve on the technique. Bio is not suitable. Oh, that's just a momentary message. Yeah, here we go. Super Dodo 2. The first two dodos of a new age in Earth's history. Yep. All bets are off now. It's out of the bottle. Can't put it back. They're so cute. They really are. Look at their little wings. Their little head. See what they've got. Okay, we need to document this for uh, future generations when they look back on... That's not the best picture we can take. No, 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 no. Oh, pooping. Alright, hang on, let's, let's, let's get it. Oh, that's, that's precious. There we go, that's it, that's the best picture. Oh my goodness, he's sleeping. He's so cute. Oh, his social is satisfied because we got him Super Dodo 2 needs a new name. Yep. Super female Dodo. Um, I mean, we've got Ralph. So now we have Cookie. Ralph and Cookie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There we go. We've got a couple pictures. So, let us... That's too far. Ralph. And Cookie. And this one, we can delete this photograph. He's so cute! They're adorable. Who knew bringing back extinct animals would be this cute? I did, actually. I foresaw. I knew it would. That's why I did it. Bird poop? Let's break that up. Yeah. I love these little guys. Anyway, I think we'll let them grow to adulthood in this little, this little holding pen. Um, and then we'll move them over, we'll move them over here. Yeah, once, uh, once they, once they're ready. I mean, once they're adults, we'll move them over. Um, so let's... No, we want a, a zookeeper. Yeah, that's what we want. A new zookeeper. Take care of. Well, hang on. What is the price of this zoo? Admission price is moderate. Let's set it to. Well, uh, no. We're the first, you know, location to ever have living dodo birds. Alright, but I want. I want. To feed the dodo birds and over here. Of course, this is going to cover the entire zoo, but that should be fine. And then my other zookeeper, Keeper Masters, you will focus on these three pre-existing exhibits. So yeah, so we will have one zookeeper, that is you, uh, who is completely dedicated to the dodo birds. Let's go check on them. They are doing well. Oh, I know what I wanted. 
I wanted some enrichment. See, yeah. Here, yeah, it's stimulation. He needs some stimulation. Um, so let's go ahead and get the dodo rock. We will, of course, have to research it. Um, but that should be fine. Let's see. Dodo rock. Like many birds today, the dodo swallowed bits of rock to help with digestion. Because the dodo was a fairly big bird, it actually swallowed small stones instead of tiny bits of rock. Here's who's dodos appreciate the fist-sized dodo rock. In the meantime, though, we can get them an apple. Now, who will get the apple first? <gasps> will it be Ralph? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. <laughs> well, just stick your face right in the rock. Ah. Yep, there we go. That's nice. <gasps> oh, and Cookie is sleeping in the background. Let's go. Yep. Ralph and Apple. Now, of course, you could draw some biblical Adam and Eve, uh, you know, parallels. You know, of course, Ralph and Cookie are the first two dodos of a new generation. And now, Ralph has just eaten an apple. But, um, I don't think that's necessary. You know, you don't have to. The research for the dodo rock is complete. So, here we go. Let's give them a couple dodo rocks. I mean, we've got money. Have plenty of money. Yes. See now, Cookie likes the dodo rocks. Oh, and so does Ralph. They are both gonna eat the dodo rocks together. Yeah. There we go. Nom 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 nom. Stimulating. All right, so how are our guests doing? I'm just curious. Um, any unhappy faces for the restroom? There is a restroom right here. Um, there is overflowing trash, and we don't have a maintenance worker. Do we? No, no maintenance worker. So we're going to have to fix that. Number of staff, four. Excellent. Um, could we... Put something here. No. Maybe like. Ooh, play dig pit. That's cool. Or an extinct gift cart to sell dodo stuff. Let's see, can they sell dodo stuff? Yes, right here, the dodo stuffed animal. Yeah, who doesn't want a dodo stuffed animal? I know, I definitely want a dodo stuffed animal. Um, we'll put it, put it right here, I think that should be fine. Yeah, we'll put it right there. And the guy is a little caveman. Oh, yep, there they are, the dodo stuffed animals. So, are you going to buy a dodo stuffed animal? No, no? Come on. Yvonne Barreto de Matos, I know you want a dodo stuffed animal. No, she's leaving. Oh well. Someone will buy a dodo stuffed animal. Alright. Well, I guess. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cookie is eating another dodo rock. Emperor Penguin 2 does not like being in such dirty water. Oh, well, we definitely have to care for our other birds as well. Uh, even if the main focus of this area is on the dodos. I suppose we could go excavate some of those marked fossil sites, but that's not really what we're after. You know, here we're, we're oh, look, he's imitating the flamingo. It's very cute. Um, but right now, let's see what kind of revenue are the dodos getting. Actually, the flamingo is getting more revenue than the dodo. Oh, then the penguins are getting a lot of. Revenue. People don't really like the dodos. I don't know why. <gasps> yes, you like the dodo birds. Yes, you do. Karim Bar. Ooh, common peepal one has laid an egg, so he gets baby common peepals. Of course, that's kind of superfluous because we already have some baby dodos, which are clearly the most adorable. Look, they're talking to each other. Now, just the. They blink with that big yellow eye. Oh, 
Well, a zookeeper. I think we could do with a third dodo bird. I mean, how hard could it be? All we're doing is recreating a long extinct animal. Let's go. Hello, scientist. Ah, another one. A male this time. And I think you... Uh-oh, are they going to run out of space? They might run out of space soon, so I suppose we shouldn't make any more until we... Yeah. Until, until these grow up and we move them over to their larger free-range exhibit. Oh, I suppose we really should go get some of these flagged fossil sites. Uh, but first, Super Dodo 3 needs a name. I'm thinking something really classic. Something not cute, like Ralph or Cookie, both of which are adorable names. But something like... Hmm, a name, you know, after like a famous... Oh, you know what? I've got it, yeah. Um, we'll name him, uh, Cuvier. Of course, a French name, named after what? Like, Jean Ferdinand Lombello? I don't know. But, you know, the, 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 the extinction guy, that guy. Cuvier. That's his last name. That's all we need. Of course. That's, nope, that's cool. That's Ralph. Oh yeah, he was right here. I was following him. Cuvier. Of course, it's French, so they pronounce it like Cuvier. Whatever. Yeah. So, so your your stimulation is, is really you know. So I guess we need a constant influx of dodo rocks. Let's just get a bunch. Let's just get a bunch. Yeah. Of course, I do hope you know now that we have two supers. You know, we've got. Cookie and Cuvier are both super, and then Ralph, I mean, you know, Ralph was the first, you know, the first go, the first try. The trial run, you know. But he'll always hold a special place in my heart. Right, let's get some of those fossil sites, you know. Of course, I can super speed. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Yeah, let's press space bar. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we can swim, it's not an issue. It just looks funny. Control. All right, that that should be good. You know, we we've excavated most of them. Now here we are. So here's our little paleontologist looking for fossils. Hey, I think there's something nearby. I love my job. Mark this spot to secure the site. All right. But yeah, this is a really nice, uh, nice little. You know, the whole ground is really rough for some reason. But that should be fine. You know, I mean, they like the rocks. You know, they like the rocks. So this is like, oh, and there, there's there's a giant rock. You know, so it'll be good for our, our dodos to grow up. And look, we're increasing our money you know? because the thing about the extinct research lab is that you know we we spend upkeep, and it is you know a pretty significant, substantial, you know, ridiculously high upkeep. I mean, compared to no, this building, which has an upkeep of twenty-five dollars a month. Oh, and let's uh, let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this one, and let's get rid of this one. Yeah, and let's get rid of this one. This one has an upkeep of fifteen dollars a month. 
but, oh, see, look, they're all crowded around. You know, I bet the dodo has gone up. No, it hasn't. It's just the penguins. They're, they're, they're like the penguins. I mean, I like penguins, too. I like penguins as much as the next guy, but we've got a living, breathing dodo bird here. You don't think that's in interesting at all? Oh, we need some desserts. We do need some desserts. Yeah, let's get some desserts. It's getting dark. Yeah, we, we could use some desserts. So let's go and get some pretzels. I think pretzels count as desserts. I mean, you know, we've had this whole issue before where there are pretzels available, but they don't like them or something. Although, if we're going to do that, you know, we could just put the pretzels, like... I don't know. And then, of course, if I want to expand the actual zoo this way and have, like, the... then I don't want to put it over here. So, let's, let's just... Yeah, let's just do something like this. So, you know, it's kind of on the path, but it's still part of, you know, this sort of... You know, it, it flows more realistically. And also, pretzels are a great salt snack, you know? Aha! You've got the dodo stuffed animal. It looks a little plastic looking, but it did say stuffed animal. I mean, some stuffed animals have that more plasticky quality, you know? Hey, what, is it, what is he thinking about? Think about his stuffed animal? Mm, I really like the gift I just bought. Okay, well, that's, that's good. Alright, and here... Where are they? Oh, they're all over here. Very cute. Wow. Cookie. Cuvier. Oh, and he needs some privacy. And some more stimulation. Well, what shelters do they have available? Only this. I can put that. You know. Oh, and they're all going towards it. I guess they did need some privacy. And then, you know, I could... Misty Spring. Very nice. Um... It's a little big for this exhibit. I think I'll keep giving them just dodo rocks for now. Maybe we'll give them this misty spring uh, when we move them over to their... Uh... Oh, it's because there are tons and tons of guests over here. That's why their privacy is so much. But... but yeah, maybe when we move them over, we'll put a misty spring. Uh, but for now, I think, I think that's good, you know? Ooh, ooh, Common Peepal 3 has just hatched, but, you know, Common Peepal 3 is not nearly as cute as any of these baby dodo birds. No one is. You know, just, just give it up. Nothing will ever be as cute as a baby dodo bird. It's just not possible. I mean, look at that. Look at that. No. No, there's nothing. But yeah, I think for now, until they until they grow up, there's uh there's not much to do. So uh so I think we're we're good here for now. You know, but we've uh we we we've, we've uh, brought back brought back the dodo bird. You know, who else to follow? You know, that's 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 a uh, that's a question. But for now, for now, just the dodo bird. So, uh, so for now, adios.